long ago, in an ancient land, beholden to its aristocracy. Cut. Hey, buddy. What you're doing is, it's great. Just, just so great. Um, maybe this time you could, um, just, just, just tone it down a smidge. Just, just the smallest bit. You, you don't like the intro? I don't like it. I, I love it. It's yeah, Oscar worthy, daytime Emmy minimum. Uh, just, um, you know, I'll be frank. I'm trying to set expectations with this, and I feel like your performance is just it's setting it a little high with all the all the dark ages nonsense that I didn't write. So how about this next time you uh, deliver the lines like I don't know a person would, like like a human person would read lines out of script, okay? Hmm. No, no, I think I've got it this time. <laughs> At the apex of an age of darkness. Cut! All right, this isn't working. Somebody get him out of here. You know, strike the set, get rid of the mountains, don't need the stars. The moon put us over budget anyway. Cut that out of there. Can I, can I get a board? Just get a board in there, and, uh... How about a host? Somebody upload me an avatar. Initializing connection. Establishing network connectivity. Processing. 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 Upload complete. And how about a soundtrack? Maybe something with a nice beat to it. Thanks, Yvonne. You're dull. All right. Pixel politics. Take one. And action. Hi, you're watching Pixel Politics, and thank you for joining in on the only show written this morning. I'm your host, James G.K., and we have an exciting first show for you as we explore... Oh, you're fucking me, right? Yeah. Alright, put the stats up on the board. The Wyoming Democratic Caucus! Caucus, Caucus. Yeah, no, no, still not feeling it. Alright, okay. Anyway, Wyoming caucuses tomorrow, that's April 9th, for those of you who don't own a calendar, and there are 14 pledge delegates up for grabs, as well as four tyrannical oligarchs. Wyoming is a symbolically important, utterly crucial, otherwise insignificant state in securing the Democratic nomination. And this is further accented by its laughably low turnout rates on the Democratic side, and that's even accounting for the fact that of its almost 600,000 residents, Wyoming is mostly comprised of wild turkeys, reintroduced gray wolves, and silicon-smuggling sage grouse. Boing is right, sir. Boing is right. I mean, I'm talking hilariously, depressingly bad turnout. Looking it up, I thought the 8,700 ballots cast back in 08 was terrible. But then I dug further back to 2000 and the total came to a whopping 261 ballots. And I hope to God those are delegate equivalents. Which, who even knows what a delegate equivalent is? I mean, seriously. Caucuses. They're fun. Just fun. So let's break down these delegates. Four of Wyoming's total 18 delegates are of the super variety, or a shameful 22% of their representation at the convention. However, compared to turnout rates, that's only allocating the electoral power of about 19 to 625 individuals, not bad compared to the rest of the country. It's pretty safe to say that the majority, if not all, will endorse Clinton. However, it's important to note that these are endorsements, not votes. Superdelegates don't vote during caucuses or primaries, they vote much later at the convention. Well, that's about it for the Wyoming caucus, so let's turn our attention to the 2016 Feel the Burn panic level. This, of course, measures the amount of shame I feel every time I whisper of a dream. Now, this one's exciting because it broke precedent, which was pretty easy to do because this is the first episode. However, last night while I was outlining this, I had my panic level at a pretty firm, cautiously optimistic. Though, after checking polling this morning, I gotta upgrade that sucker to a hopeful. Special shout out to voters in New York, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Let's keep them trending up out there. Thank you. Well, that's it for the program today. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, or at least as of this time, I'm your host, James GK, and you watched Pixel Politics. If you liked this episode, please like and subscribe. 
Seriously, it helped me cope with the bone-crushing shame.